filming a bullet journal video today which I'm so excited about filming and as you can see I've kept things very real here so this is my little bullet journal station it's very messy so I wasn't really sure what bullet journal video to do because I don't know enough to give advice yet because this is my first bullet journal uh, that I've ever done and I definitely don't feel like I am worthy to give out advice just yet and I'm still learning and I have a lot left to learn so uh, I didn't want to do like a how-to bullet journal but at the same time it's kind of late to do a um, bullet journal setup video I thought that it might be fun to show you guys how I set up my bullet journal and kind of talk about each page and talk about um, what I like about my bullet journal so far, what I want to do, my bullet journal goals, um, and kind of the direction I want to take in the future. So that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today. It's going to be a rambly one, folks. I really love long rambly videos, especially when they're bullet journal related, when they're stationary related. Without further ado, why don't we just open up my bullet journal? So the bullet journal that I have is the Artist's Loft brand and my lovely friend Sally gifted it to me along with many other of my supplies for bullet journaling. And I love it so far. It's such good quality and um, it's definitely exactly what I need. I love this particular size too. So as you can see, the first page is a lovely Polaroid of me on New Year's Eve. And it says, hello 2018. It does have an index that you can fill out, but I'm not that big of a fan on indexing. It's not my biggest priority. So I might rip these pages out or I might save them. Might do some sort of collage there. I don't know what I want to do with the index quite yet. So then I have a yearly calendar right here. Also forgive me if I don't use the proper terms. I'm still very new to bullet journaling. So I hope I'm describing everything okay. So I really like how my yearly came out. Since this was the first page that I ever did, I definitely see things I don't like. Like this font, <laughs> this style of writing, like I never will do this again. I definitely messed up on a couple of months in here, so don't look too hard. Like there's some numbers missing or some numbers that I do twice. Um, but I don't really use this um, ever. Like I just like how this looks. This was also when I was using um, these pens. So this is the Pilot. I believe I used the G2.38 for this section. And they do smudge quite a bit when you uh, highlight. By the way, I do use the um, Tombow pens for my highlighting a lot of the time um, and I love them and I got the pastel pack. Why don't we go on to the next page? Alright, so to set it up, I got this idea from Amanda, Amanda Rachel Lee who obviously she's like a goddess of bullet journaling here on YouTube. These two pages are my vision board. So the vibes that I'm striving for for 2018. As you can see, it's not done yet. So this is something that I definitely will update you guys on probably in a yearly flip through once I'm done with this at the end of the year. I can talk a little bit about what's on here now. So this is obviously style. I really love this like chic, minimalistic style that's classic, but still just like cool and um, laid back. I love that. I also love this hair length as you can see. Hint, hint, some changes might be happening at some point in the year. That's all I'm gonna say, <laughs> even though I gave it away completely. But um, New York, because I wanna move to New York this year, I love this photo. It makes me very, very thrilled um, whenever I look at it. This uh, is obviously a bullet journal spread, and this is by Cheyenne Barton, who is my absolute favorite bullet journaler. I love her, and she was definitely a huge inspiration to me in starting this bullet journal and I'm so grateful for that and I just love her style. I love this quote. I really really love um, Morgan Harper Nichols. Um, her poetry and overall words are just so beautiful. So it says, um, if you can't read, maybe you can, hopefully it's, hopefully it's in focus, but it says this is the season she will make beautiful things, not perfect things, but honest things that speak to who she is and who she knows she is meant to be. So I love that and I definitely um, think about that quote when relating it to my own craft. So like 
my bullet journal, but also blog posts, YouTube videos, photography stuff, all of that jazz. Uh, here's a picture of books because I want to read more this year. If you have any book recommendations, I would love, 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 love to hear them. This is a really fun um, graphic that I found on Pinterest, which all of my images are usually on Pinterest, um, that you'll find in my bullet journal. And I just love this for um, getting healthy because it's not some sort of fitspo because I think that that can get really toxic. It's just this really fun um, image of people moving and that's what I want to do this year is I just want to move. I want to be kind to my body. And I just love this picture. Obviously I talked about the hair but I love flowers too and this just inspires me to take cute photos like this one and then also it just makes me happy and the vibes I really like. So I love this spread. These definitely were the first two pages that I created that I that made me really excited about bullet journaling but also really proud of what I could possibly do. I definitely started this process, this process meaning bullet journaling with really low expectations. So I didn't really know what I could do and like how cute my bullet journal would be but I decided you know that's not important and I just wanted to give it a shot and this was the first spread or the first two pages that I created in here where I was like you know what like not only can I do this but I could be good at this which is a great feeling and obviously like looking back at this now I do think that there's a lot of things wrong with it like I can look back and I like I don't like this type of font my um bubble lettering was kind of weird like there's sharp edges which I don't really like my writing is kind of messy these are still smudged because I was using these pens still um it's really like sloppy there's not very many like clean lines i don't like this writing right here as you can see like very much inspired by cheyenne i'm not gonna pretend these are my own doodle ideas but i really believe in um learning from other people and taking inspiration from other people and that's how i learn i learn from observing i've always been that way i think that if you're starting a bullet journal like go for it like if you see someone's uh, spreads on Pinterest or Instagram or YouTube. Try mimicking them and then making them your own as you go along. Like, I think it's just such a great way to figure out your own style. As you can see, I have a page of 2018 goals. So these are my main resolutions, my main goals. I always have goals. I have different goals for each week, month, and so on. And these are my main goals for 2018 when I was filling out this uh, journal. So, as you can see, more balance be more of a morning person, be more creatively consistent, shop more intentionally, save more money, be brave, my love. <laughs> so cute. Another picture of NYC. This is a little confetti star that um, was from me and Alina and Megan's uh, New Year's Eve sleepover, which was so fun. Then I have YouTube blogging and Instagram goals. So this is just stuff that I want to um, aim for in 2018 for all of my platforms. I here have like a little follower count for all of these platforms and it's gonna be interesting to see how much I grow throughout the year. Follow me on Twitter because I got sad. <laughs> 256, lame. Let's move on. So here, these two pages are blog post ideas and YouTube video ideas for the year. And I want this to be a thing where there's two different columns and there's these little check boxes. So whenever I do one of these ideas, I can check them off and there's plenty of space throughout the year to add more onto these pages. I kind of like have a messy aesthetic as you can see from these next few pages. Like I love a minimalistic style. I probably like it visually more in other people's bullet journals. But for me personally, I can't create art that's very, 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 very clean. I always had a very chaotic vibe in high school when I would make art. So this is what my um, January spread looks like. I don't like this spread really, but there are things about it that I do like. These uh, vines that I drew look really cute. I do think it's a little much, but I think they look cute. I love this painting. I like the structure of this page, but I do think I got carried away with the doodling. Don't think it looks that cute. It does look very cluttered, um, but I like the layout. I definitely like this layout and I want to keep it for my future monthly spreads. I have this poem right here. So it says, in case you can't read it, I don't know if you can. Um, she has been feeling it for a while now, that sense of awakening. There is a gentle rage simmering inside her and it's getting stronger by the day. She will hold it close to her. She will nurture it and let it grow. She won't let anyone take it away from her. 
It is her rocket fuel and finally she is going places. She can feel it down to her very core. This is her time. She will not only climb, climb mountains, she will move them too. And that's by Lang Lav. And I think that's beautiful. And what a great poem to have at the start of the year. Like I think that's just the, the theme for the year is just growth, change, um, bravery, self-love. Like that's really what I wanna express in my own bullet journal. And I also wanna point out that I wrote right here, she was the queen of her own life and the choice was hers. And this is the first Pinterest quote that I found on Pinterest um, that really, really stuck with me. I think that a lot of us forget that we do have a choice in life about what we're doing and where we're going and who we are. And this quote is probably one of my favorite quotes of all time and I love it. I don't really like this whole thing. It's fine. A million dreams are keeping me awake because the greatest showman is Bay. This is also very cluttered. This is very messy lettering. I'm gonna get, try to get better at keeping track of artists' names because I do not remember a lot of them. This is when I first tried doing like what usual normal bullet journal people do where they go through every single day of the week and they like do to-do lists. I very quickly found that this didn't work for me. I have this little bandeau agenda. This is what I use for my to-do list for writing everything down, for organizing, um, and I like all the messiness and more stressful stuff to be in here to just get me organized. And this, I want this to be more of a space to play creatively and to have fun and to express myself and to um, plan stuff, yes, to like get on track, get organized, but like kind of in a more loose fashion. I definitely found that this was excessive. I wasn't enjoying doing this. I wasn't looking forward to doing this and it didn't inspire me. I really like this page. I think that this page I finally discovered my style a little bit more. I still think this is very messy. I hate this. This looks terrible. Hair is a crown you never take off. That's true. I got my hair done. That's why. That's why I wrote that. This is a beautiful sticker that my friend Sally gave me and she said that she thought it represented me with the whole like basically wilderness and city, two different sides of me because I live in Montana. I want to move to New York. I thought that, that was so beautiful and meaningful. So moving on. Um, ah, isn't this just so much better? I have grown so much already. Um, I'm sorry if that sounds conceited, but I'm really, 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 really proud of myself. Clearly here I started getting a little bit more minimal with my style and things are looking so much better. They're looking cleaner, but still have that fun, chaotic, loose vibe that I need to have. Um, and this is how I decided to set up the rest of my journal because that whole daily thing didn't work for me. So I do a page that says for the week ahead where I have to-dos for every single day, like the main to-dos. So I don't get carried away with to-do lists. And these are the main things that I need to get done so that I can keep my priorities set for the week. Um, I also did a little habit tracker. So this is the first tracker I have in here, which I'm really excited about. Here I have... Um, bullet journaling, reading, Instagram, sweat, so like exercise, go to sleep early, and early for me is before midnight, and then there's a vegetable, which is a carrot, um, and that stands for salads. So this I really liked, and I found that it really helped me stay accountable, so I wanted to do more trackers after doing this. And here I have goals for the week. So then instead of doing the daily to-do list like I did back here, I decided to do more actual journaling journaling. So then after I set up my weekly overview, I allow myself to bullet journal whenever I, really, whenever I feel like it. So as you can see from this whole week, I only journaled Thursday and Friday, but I write down like my feelings, my thoughts, my ideas, and I love that it's a way to document my actual life. I got a free printable from another bullet journal, or I'll put her name here. She's amazing, but she has a free printable, and I used her designs right in here. I did not do those. I'm not going to take credit for them. They are beautiful. I love her style so much. I was having a really rough time this week, but bullet journaling made it better. So that's why I stuck this whole good things are coming image and find the beauty in every day. Um, and then I made this cute little doodle of happy things, which I love this, I'm so proud of it. I was really, really happy with how this whole thing came out. So it says, happy things, cute coffee shops, good coffee, a tubby cat, a cozy sweater. So I definitely wanna do more actual doodles and art 
in my bullet journal because as you'll be able to tell, I use a lot of people's work. This I cut out from my old bando agenda and I've been using that as um, a source of uh, fun stuff to stick in my journal. Ah! So as you can see, I continued the trend. This is another spread that I'm in love with. I love the whole two colors thing that I started doing. So here, pink and purple, here, yellow and blue. I like this lettering I did, and I like this whole using different papers and textures and colors. I think it's really fun. I love this quote. It says, those who move forward with a happy spirit will find that things will always work out. And I really believe that, and I'm trying to be more positive and um, really shift my um, attitude because I really really believe that what you put out there comes back to you so I've been struggling a lot with mental health this beginning of the year and it's really hard and it's really frustrating and you think that you've made progress but then it all comes crashing down but bullet journaling has definitely been a very um, safe space for me and a space that I can kind of just like forget about all of my problems and issues and just dive right in and um, be creative and it's just a really fun way to decompress. Then we're done with the month. So here I decided to start doing some more tracking because I found that I love tracking. I don't know why I poo-pooed it before because tracking is just my jam. Um, so since it's the start of February, I haven't really filled this out yet um, too much. But here I have some habits. I might add two more squares. So I have workout, read, salad, because I'm trying to eat at least one salad a day, which is a struggle, but I'm trying to do it. Instagram, so I want to be posting every day or every other day, so I hope that'll keep me accountable. Bullet journal, no spend, because I'm just trying to save for New York. Um, early night and up early. And early night for me means before midnight, up early means like wake up 7.30, 8.30-ish, so like before 9. And I have an expenses tracker. Obviously, I haven't filled it out too much yet because I because it's February 3rd right now, so. Oh, oh my god, you guys. This is my February spread. I'm so excited about it, guys. It's beautiful. Um, not to chew my own horn, but I'm sorry. This is such good work. Um, so this is my February spread. February is my birthday month and it's also Valentine's Day. It's one of my favorite months out of the year, obviously, for my birthday and I love Valentine's Day. I used to hate it because I was bitter about being single, but not bitter anymore. I love being single and I love expressing love to myself and to others, my friends, my family. So. Let me break this down for you guys. So here it says February, love others, love yourself. If you guys were wondering, I use the um, Tombow pens for these and these. And um, then I use this pen for my regular writing now. And it was recommended to me by my good friend Megan, who is my savior when it comes to bullet journaling questions and art questions. She knows her shit. So this is the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. And I believe it's in the size, what size is it? It's the extra small. I'll definitely link it down below. I'll link all my supplies down below. I don't have a lot of supplies right now. I really want to invest in some washi tape, some more paper, but it's surprising how much you can do with um, printed out things from Pinterest, different pieces of paper, a good pen, and some good like colored pens. So the theme of this spread, I want it to be self-love. As I've been struggling with mental health st stuff and um, overall just like confidence. Um, so I really wanted to focus these two pages on self-love, especially it being my birthday. I'm turning 23 on the 12th, which is so exciting. So I really wanted to use the space to love up on myself and remind myself of things, which is what I use this bullet journal a lot for. So that's why I have a lot of quotes because I'm such a words person. I am a very visual person, but I'm a words person through and through. I've had a lot of body issues in um, January, in end of December and January, um, and it's not fun, folks. So I've been so harsh on my body and harsh like health-wise. I got very just like in my head about what like, what good foods are and what bad foods are and it's just not fun and it's not for me and I think that I just need to work on balance 
rather than trying to cut things out of my diet completely. And when I get more organized, I feel like I'm so scattered and I just need to find a time every single day to write in my planner, get emails done, get back to people and just like get my shit together because I am all over the place. Especially now that I'm out of school, I really wanna um, prioritize friend time and get together with people, make fun plans, do fun stuff and like not get sucked into a routine of just staying in and doing nothing all the time. And not saying that I wanna go out and party, but I just wanna do more fun things and get together with people, schedule more brunch dates, go out and photo shoot with my photography friends and just like just do more fun stuff with friends. So if you're a friend, hit me up. Let's do some fun stuff. This next quote is a Winnie the Pooh quote. And it says, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and love more than you know. And anything Winnie the Pooh honestly makes me wanna sob like a baby. I thought this um, really captures self-love I, like with the whole flowers and the embracing of oneself and I just think it's beautiful and really powerful um, And then right here I have a Ruby Carr poem which says and I said to my body softly I want to be your friend it took a long breath and replied I have been waiting my whole life for this and this honestly makes me want to cry every time I read it I just think this is so beautiful and Shout out to my friend Megan who recommended that I get matte sticker paper from Staples, which is what I printed this stuff out on. I like to print all of my um, little Pinterest images on sticker paper so that you can just cut it out, peel it off, and stick it down, and you don't have to use glue. I still use glue for um, paper, but this is so handy and then it doesn't lift up and it's perfectly sealed. I hope this was helpful. I know a lot of people have reached out to me about my bullet journal and told me that I inspire them to start one or that they love my bullet journal and want me to post more about it. And I never expected that kind of reaction because the internet is such a place of perfection. So when I shared mine, I was like, well, mine are not like nearly as perfect as a lot of people's bullet journals that are all over Instagram or Pinterest or whatever, but so many people have said the nicest things and been so supportive, and the fact that I inspired some of you to start your own bullet journals is amazing, and um, that means so much. So if you've reached out to me and told me that, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, that means more than you'll ever know. Any questions you have about it, any types of videos you wanna see relating to it, if you're confused on anything that I talked about, please comment it down below. Of course, you can follow me on Instagram. I don't have a bullet journal or art Instagram, but um, I do like to post my spreads from time to time. And you'll see it before anyone else does on Instagram because I always post Instagrams before YouTube videos. I hope you have a lovely February and of course, lovely 2018. Make sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe! Woo!